Ron and Morton looking from left to right across your screen. Riders concentrating, looking at the outside edge of the starting gate. If they touched the tape, they would be excluded. And Doncaster immediately burst to the front. The golden helmet holder is leading for England. And Hans Nielsen is in chase. Chris Morton is third. So England hold a heat advantage in points at this present time. And Doncaster maintaining his superiority into the second lap. He's looking very sharp indeed, but he's slipped, he lifts, he's out, he's fallen, and my goodness, what tremendous avoiding action by Peter Rowan, Doncaster's down on the track, the race must be stopped by referee Paul Ackroyd in the interest of safety, and immediately track staff and medical staff rush to the assistance of the fallen rider, he's down there, Jeremy Doncaster, England, England team manager, Colin Pratt is already on the scene. Let's look at it again. Doncaster, his front wheel had lifted in his efforts to keep his back wheel, strikes the kickboard at the bottom of the safety fence, and he's going down hard. Caught with his left leg under the bike, and look at Peter Rohn in the yellow helmet. He has to straighten up and ride between the fallen rider and the safety fence. On the street, going at approximately 50 to 60 miles an hour, he worked hard. Jeremy, first of all, are you all right? Yeah, I've got a little bit of a headache, but I think I'll be okay, yeah. He looks as if you're going to win that heat. Tremendous performance against Hans Nielsen. So why did it suddenly go wrong? Um, I've, been, I've been, the machinery's been going very well. And um, I just moved out to the dirt line and started to pick up. As you can see, I just started to lift here and I've corrected it. And there's, there's a load of loose chippings on the top and there's nothing to keep us upright. And I just drifted towards the fence, hit the band back panel and away we went. I'm on the ground, rolling over. I swear I bashed my head. I was lucky no one rode over the top of me, actually. Very lucky indeed. Chris Morton in red, and Nielsen's partner for Denmark is Peter Rohn. The tapes go up, and immediately Nielsen roars from the outside, and he's joined by his partner. And Chris Morton, on the occasion of his 100th cap, is in the position he didn't want to be in, at the back, chasing for points. Chasing hard too. Morton, not known as Speedway's fastest starter, has a habit of gaining points from the back. One of the most exciting riders in the sport, and already he's making an impression on a former clubmate, Peter Rohn, who started his British career when he first came over from Denmark with Bellevue, later moving on to Cradley and now with Wolverhampton. Hans Nielsen is untroubled. He's out in front, winning the race for Denmark. Three points for a win in the Speedway, two for the second place man, and the third man gets one point. Already Denmark for four points advantage after two races, and they look like making it beat at this point. Nielsen showing the style that makes him the main dane of Speedway today. Number two in the world for the past two years, the only rider to better him at World Championship duty is captain today, Eric Gunderson, and a spectacular monowheel from Hans Nielsen to celebrate his victory. Nielsen shows his class, Denmark show their international ability, and England show there's a lot.